you just saw, I just got ready. I was literally about to do an introduction about how today is the first day, da 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 da, -da I'm going out after Corona, but I've just got a text. Plans are called off because it's raining again. I got ready, did my makeup, had a shower, did everything you saw, put some jewellery on. I thought I would stay on camera anyway and do kind of like just vlog my day with you. It's already 11.30 because we were planning on meeting up at 12 but I still haven't eaten or anything so I guess I'll just get on with my day. Anyone that knows me knows I have to have my morning coffee so this, despite the time we're gonna go and do that now. Take my hand and hold it tight Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide Don't stop looking in my eyes Got this little pan I'm gonna make a little scrambled egg just to have on the avocado because it is quite late and I'm already hungry. of this is that it's an absolute mess this one's less of a mess look how good that looks have another cup of tea it's now 12 30 but i've decided watching these talking to my friend i'm going to attempt doing a bob ross painting just sat you down on my bed that's probably why it's a bit wonky and falling over but Yes, I'm going to paint. So first things first is we put our hair up, isn't it? Because all artists have that messy hair up. You guys, <laughs> I just like having my hair on my face, okay? I don't need to have a reason. This actually was one of my favorite tops for a long time, but then it got shrunk in the wash and then it got stained some sun cream. So I'm planning on like bleach tie-dyeing it maybe, maybe that'd be cool, but for today I'm just gonna wear it to paint. So I've got my paints out here, I've got my, I used to do a lot of art, so like I've got my charcoal blenders, I've got big brushes, um, so I've, like quite a clear point, we're starting at a disadvantage is Bob Ross uses oil paints and I just have craft store acrylics so we're gonna be doing our best so hard, maybe one day we can... so as you can see I've set out quite nicely I have a lot of colours they're not the colours Bob uses but here we are so I've just gone ahead and sat down here and I'm on YouTube and I'm going to find the Bob Ross video that I want to follow. Bob Ross actually died in 1995, was it? 4th of July. 4th of July, which is my birthday. So that was crazy to just find out, but we've got a connection, Bob and I. Okay, I think I've decided on the piece I want to do. I'll show you now here. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to try and follow his thing. My camera's on low battery, so I'm just going to keep checking in, but actually have my camera on charge. So guys, I am recording on my phone camera because my other camera is currently charging, but I just wanted to show you what mine currently looks like. Obviously, I've been putting photos throughout, and I'm following his tutorial. But I would like to point out, he's got like this... <laughs> knife I think he calls it that he's scraping down with and I'm using it I'm using a kiwi spoon this side to scrape down my paint and hopefully blend it it's not ideal I'm trying but maybe one day we can break the distance so this
this is where he's at, you know, halfway down. And I'm kind of here. I mean, for a first attempt, it's not too bad, I guess, but we're going to keep going and see what we can create. Help me out, I need... Bob wanted us to add some trees in with some friends and we put some reflection down. But every tree needs a friend, just like humans. That's what Bob's talking about. I'm ready with my suitcase. So I've just finished painting and I'm about to clean my brushes, but I thought I would show you the finished piece before we continue with the day. What time is it? Almost three o'clock, it's quarter to three, and I might make myself a little bit of lunch. Maybe a smoothie, I might have a smoothie for lunch. So here is my finished piece. Bob's yeah. piece was much more blue and light and kind of had the mountains and the trees with the dark bit, but for a first attempt, I don't think it's too badly. Badly? Too bad, I didn't do too badly. I'll probably do some more paintings in quarantine, so if you want to see a full process or time lapse or hear my commentary, commentary, commentation, commentary as I paint and little sounds and stuff, I'm happy to do that. So the ca- oh, I'm zoomed in, uh, zoom out. So the camera I'm currently filming on is my new camera, it's the Canon mirrorless, so M50, yeah, and I took some videos from my brother yesterday, he does a lot of woodworking, so he was sawing, filing, planing, and I shot in 4K on this, and it is insane. So he's editing that together at the moment. Sorry that this whole video seems to be quite orange, but I think that's the lighting today. I'm gonna place you there. I'm gonna make the smoothie. So here's what I'm gonna use, some hazelnut milk, some chocolate white protein, half a banana that has been frozen, and some oats. saw me, it's orange lighting, oh well, so you saw me make my, I kind of call this, I think it's like a Nutella smoothie, although it has no Nutella in it because it's obviously hazelnut milk, hazelnuts on top and chocolate, so cheers. So while I was painting, my mum's been making these face masks and I've just been asked if I'll make a sign that I'm going to put in here that will sit out the front of our house to kind of sell them and make some money for charity. Just to be near Countless thoughts of you Being here oh, I wish It wasn't so Hard but I, So mm. But if it fits me You do either need to make that a small adult Or a bigger child Because I'm like the size of most 11 year olds My face making the sign for the outside the front of the house. Here's our box. Look how cute. Some money. I feel like you see me sitting here more than literally anywhere else because this is my seat in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, this is obviously like a day in the life of quarantine. Like normally I would do a workout and have more of like a productive start to the day but obviously I thought I was going out today which I didn't. But also I've done something to my back. I mentioned it in the last video. I think it's just a sprained muscle. I do a lot of drawing, sat on the floor, hunched. And I must have just sat like that too long because I am now in agony. Like really, really painful. But here we are. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and chill. And what time is it? It's four o'clock. So while I'm sitting here just watching YouTube, I'm going to take this color and paint my nails. I've actually been letting my nails grow in quarantine and they're kind of growing really nice and healthy. But yeah, I really feel that the nail varnish, clear colours, light colours, my phone's beeping, is helping them grow. But I am ready with my suitcase by me. Of so it's 
just started raining, so I'm not gonna go on a walk because, uh, yeah, it's raining. So I've got some pineapple, just eating the last few pieces. And then, it's a day in quarantine. Bedroom, taking my tea, and I'm going to my room. Oh, this tea is currently burning my hand. Here I am. So, put this down here. Quick change. I'm now in my pajama shorts to get into bed. Because, guys. I'm going to be totally honest with you here. I am in a lot of pain with my back at the moment. So I've got a paracetamol. I really try not to take medication with pain because I want my body to just do it by itself. But my lower back is in agony. So that's why I've got the hot water bottle. Like this. I'm going to prop myself up with some pillows and watch a movie. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm here. My laptop's on with Netflix and I'm going to watch The Crown, I think, because my granny's recommended it and I watched the first episode yesterday. So I'm going to continue it just because, like, when I call her, I like to have a topic of the conversation. This is a good one. Um, she's also recommended Downton. Anyone else seen Downton? I haven't seen it. Is it worth watching? I'm not sure. I'm going to have my cup of tea and just chill for a bit. Mm. 